African-American soldiers served in segregated units during and after World War I. Most of these soldiers served in support and manual labor roles, with many of them serving in the Graves Registration Service. Section 19 holds the grave sites of many African-American soldiers who served in the segregated military during World War I. The work of the GRS was emotionally and physically difficult. It involved locating and disinterring remains separated across battlefields, as well as digging proper graves in the newly established American foreign cemeteries. Addie Hunton and Katherine Johnson, two African-American social workers who traveled to France as volunteers for the YMCA, wrote a book about their experience, titled Two Colored Women with the American Expeditionary Forces. In one of the final chapters, Hunton and Johnson described the work of the African-American men in the GRS and how they hoped that all the Americans would be grateful for their service and more willing to recognize their rights. In the author's words, whether they sought their comrades by the winding moose or on the battle-seamed heights of no man's land, whether they found their bodies in the shadows of the ruined cathedrals of the Reims, Soissons, or Ypres, always they were making an unconscious challenge for the very heart of the United States for the rights of the 12 millions of its citizens whose loyalty had thus endured the test. Many of the African Americans who served in World War I are buried here in Section 19.